welcome to today's vlog. vlog. Today is a beautiful day in it's... Hawaii. Nay. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Yes. Trust me. Yes. Yeah. The most beautiful. It's so gorgeous what outside. What is today? The six we are starting the morning off at my dad's house uh she's hot i can feel it we came to stop by and say hello drop him off a christmas present that finally came in the mail we're gonna go back to target we went to target yesterday and we did some shopping and kiko and i got the kids some shoes for a trip that we're gonna go on we're gonna go to the snow which i'll explain more about it sorry to like just drop it like that just but just know we're going to the snow so we've been collecting some warm stuff you forgot at Target, all that was was a wig for me. Was what? A wig for me. A wig? Yeah, it was for me. You're silly. So we got the kids some warm shoes, which I'll show you guys when we get to the car. We got Ayla a size too big and Lala a size too small, which is ridiculous. I don't know how we did that. So I want to hurry up and get back to Target before, like, you know, just in case the sizes run out. I love them so much. My sister's gonna do some grocery shopping. My dad's gonna come, so I think we're gonna go have lunch. And then we're gonna end it with going to the beach. Um, just fast. Yeah, just fast. I got some super adorable pants in that I wanna take pictures at the beach um, from a company. And yeah, yeah, yeah that's just yeah, what you yeah, do when yeah, you're a blogger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's yeah. so beautiful that we just wanna go touch the water and the salt, the sand. What do you have for lunch? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Sushi. Still she. Sushi for dinner. <laughs> for dinner, I love you. Yeah. All right, let's get today started. Let's go have a sun kiss yeah. day. Oh yeah, and Ayla had her first day of soccer yesterday. So do you guys want to see how that went? First day of soccer. Yeah, it's your first day. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we are so excited. She's kind of started off a little rough this morning. I think she was just N-E-R-V-O-U-S. You're gonna go check in with daddy and I'll see you very soon, okay? Bye, I love you. You're gonna do so good. You're gonna have so much fun. I'm so proud of you. You can. So I'm dropping them off. Like I was saying, I think it was just a little nervous. She doesn't really know how to kick the ball well, um, like when we practice and play soccer. Oh, you want to go with them, I know. I don't think she feels comfortable kicking. We always go to her cousin's games, and I think that's what she thinks it's gonna be like, where we're all just waiting on the side and she's playing. But this is completely not like that. There's no games, this is only parent participation, so I'm really excited. Look at them. Brother, look, Sissy. Look who shows up. I oh, knew you couldn't miss this, isn't it? Ayla was so Where's nervous. She, oh, I, I literally. She, we just started, like I two seconds. He really wants to join in so bad. Look at that. dying she showed up and surprised us she just doesn't miss anything with the kids it's so cute we have now a soccer player and it's so crazy because I played for that team and Kiko played for that team so it's just so cool that our daughter is now enjoying the sport that we once loved so we just made it to Target you guys ready we brought the stuff that we need to return hopefully they still have the sizes we need we just went and had lunch. Trooping it at Target on a Sunday though can be a little crazy. Wish us luck. Wow, they already have the Valentine's Day stuff. All right. These were the shoes that we got for La'a and we got it too big so we're gonna do a six 
And then for, excuse me, babe, we got an eight. So we're doing these black fluffy ones, but in a size seven. We don't have the brown in seven. Yeah, we got the brown. These are the ones that we gotta return. We just gave little man a shower and I'm letting him play and brush his teeth. So I always let him play first um, and then I brush his teeth after. And he's so good about it. With Ayla, she... With Ayla, we had to pin her down like every night and now she loves brushing her teeth. Yeah. But with I him, I don't know, maybe the electric toothbrush was the trick from the start. With Ayla, we didn't have an electric toothbrush at first. So we I love new toothbrush. They, they both got new toothbrushes today at Target. I noticed that he needed lotion under his leg, so I am rubbing just pure coconut oil. So I'm giving him like a little baby massage. I can just tell that he has some dry spots and the weather's been really cold. So I bet you by morning after putting this coconut oil, it'll be gone. And put his pants on so that he doesn't get coconut oil all over. Now you are almost ready for bed, little man. His hair is so just soft and luscious and handsome. Look guys, we could almost put all his hair up. Look at how cute. This is what I'm striving you for. Need this? You need this one? Yes, my love. Ah, ah, good job, baby. Ah. And then I'll give him water to rinse out the toothpaste. Two things I did want to say. First thing is, I've been lately um, nursing him before I brush his teeth. And then I, hey, hey. And then I've been brushing his teeth. And then after we're done doing that, I'll rinse it with water so he goes to sleep with like clean teeth. Um, and then he still does wake up in the middle of the night. So then when I nurse him again, the milk is not sitting on him that long. Ayla didn't do it that way and her teeth are perfect. I nursed her until she was two. I would nurse her right before bed. That was just her comfort. That's just what we needed to do. And I put her to bed and nursed her all through the night. Nursed her when she woke up in the morning and we just brushed her teeth before bed and in the morning and her teeth are absolutely perfect Another thing I wanted to say was I've been seeing in the comments of people asking if I still breastfeed Ayla uh, No, I don't breastfeed Ayla. It's really funny though. She from birth so from day one you guys know the story She's been booby obsessed um, day one in the hospital when they're supposed to be the most tired, the most out of it. She was screaming, crying. Um, I slept upright holding her, nursing her. That was the only way the nurses and I could get her to stop screaming. We tried everything. They even pricked her with a needle to check her sugar levels like they were really concerned. And she just wanted to nurse. She was always like so booby obsessed, always wants to hold my booby while nursing, just all that kind of stuff. Our nursing journey ended or when she was two years old. My body was no longer making milk anymore and it hurt. And Ayla is so smart, she never asked to nurse again. If La has latched on, she'll come on and she'll like try to latch on, but she just puts her like mouth there like she doesn't even know how to suck and which which is like never and but she's still booby obsessed. She still likes to hold it and she still likes to pull up my shirt and sometimes at nighttime she'll be like, Mom, can I hold your boob? You know, she like just her comfort. She just totally loves it. Just totally loves it. But no, she does not nurse. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I see her as comments. I do definitely want to get back to every single one of you guys but as you can see why it would be kind of hard to get back to every single one of you guys now i have a treat for you guys i'm gonna do like i did the other day it was a morning routine her little cute segment we're gonna do the same but her oh hi guys
photos taken and I printed out in big sizes all the ones I wanted. This is a frame I actually bought, hung it and it fell because the stuff that I decided to hang it with was junk. But this one is hung by a Velcro one where it Velcros to the frame to the wall and then you stick it and then you can pull it apart. So I printed out different sizes, 8x11s, 5x7s, 4x6s, and what I planned on doing was buying all different kinds of like white and gold frames. I didn't know you could get it like in a whole kit like this, so my sister surprises me this for Christmas, this like complete set. And I had enough pictures for frames, and I just had one 5x7 picture left. I've already framed them all, and this says it's by Golden State Art. So Golden State Art, they sell these boxes of like a whole like picture wall set. At Target today, I bought more of the Velcro ones and I bought different sizes. I have wanted this wall to be done. If you've been following my journey, you know for quite some time. So I got stuck on there. And then what I did with this one is I hung it like so. My talent in life is um, eyeballing. It's eyeballing things, it's really weird.
Okay, so I have this one and that one left. So what I want to do is I want to put this one here. I'm not sure if I think that that's complete. And maybe I can do this one over here. I don't know. I don't know. I want to add some art around that. Like no more pictures, but more like art and sayings on everything else. And I want to have like the hanging wooden like macrames. I don't know. Fun stuff we're going to do. to my beautiful pictures. I literally am living for them. So beautiful. But that's it for today's vlog. Ever since the new year started, my life has been on a crazy roller coaster ride and some things I can't explain to you yet, but some things you guys know, like I met Jess Fam. I've just been having just like a crazy past few days. Um, something I didn't tell you guys was Dorian's car, my sister's fiance, car got broken into and he got like his wallet stolen and they spent like $800 out and about and broke his car like I've just been going through a lot a lot of good and just a lot of crazy in these last two weeks so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog it was probably all over the place I don't even remember what really went on so yeah I don't know I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog I don't really know how it's gonna go I'm sure I'm gonna make it really awesome for you guys but it was kind of like all over the place uh we jumped into yesterday and anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for all the love and support down in the comments you guys are the absolute best before you go please subscribe turn on your post notifications so anytime we post a video you'll be notified and you can get our post notification shout out 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 so for today's post notification shout out it's gonna go to jj henry love shout out to you thank you so much for being an amazing subscriber tuning in and keeping posted we love you so much we love all of our subscribers let's face it let's be real <laughs> and we'll see you guys all tomorrow for another sun kiss day good night guys